Hello everyone, welcome to another session. So in this session, I'm going to explain about the how to create the document type and what is the functionality of document type in SAP and then uh, how to define the number ranges. We will cover these two topics in this session. Okay, let's get started with the uh, document type. Uh, document type uh, in generally in document type in SAP determines the types of transaction. Let's suppose we will be having a GL posting and a vendor invoice posting, customer posting and payment posting, material posting and all this uh, document type will determine the types of uh, posting, whether it is a GL posting or normal uh, any vendor posting or customer posting. And apart from this, uh, document type will play a, a key role uh, in the for the uh, number range number range with the help of this number range also we can identify the document type uh, what is the document type and all these things and apart from this uh, document type will also control the reference and uh, header text of the document so let me access the transaction code OBA7 for document to create a document type we need to use the transaction code OBA7 OBA7 here so SAP has a predefined uh, given uh, many document types uh, uh, for example, I will take as a SA. SA means a GL document posting, GL account posting here. Just double click here. So here, uh, here we will be maintaining the zero one as a number range. So we need to create the number range for uh, again to this in uh, ABN one transaction code. And uh, here we have uh, option uh, reverse document type. If let's suppose we have posted one doc uh, document with the help of this document type then when you reverse the document uh, it will take the reference and it will uh, the reversal document will be generated uh, with this document type and with this document type and uh, with uh, another document number range or uh, we can uh, control the same number range as so we can control and apart from this for this document type uh, what are the account types will be allowed so in generally we will be allowing uh, only gl posting and material postings uh, based on the requirement we can allow the postings here uh, and the control data if you can see the control data uh, here we can, we have check negative postings permitted negative postings are permitted and the customer vendor check and intercompany posting and enter trading partner when you check this uh, symbol for this document type the do trading partner field would be uh, set as a mandatory and coming to the default values here so if you have created any customized exchange rate type then we need to maintain the exchange rate type here and uh, this is joint venture uh, this is a part of uh, JVA uh, SAP joint venture accounting for that module this is uh, applicable and required during document entry so as uh, we have discussed earlier uh, with the help of uh, document type we can make a mandatory field of uh, reference and document uh, document header text if you give the check marks uh, in these two fields then uh, when while posting the document system will look for the reference number and uh, header text as a mandatory okay then click on save here so if you want to create a new document type so here we can create a document type uh, the naming convention we have to give and the number range uh, whatever we have created again is to this document type we have to maintain here and this document type with this document type what are the types of the, uh, transaction we are posting uh, we need to give the check mark uh, whether it is only for the GL posting then we can only give the GL postings here and uh, if it is intercompany then we need to give the intercompany and trading partner uh, it's required for this postings and if any custom exchange rate type is there we need to maintain here if it is if we are using a standard exchange rate type then no need to maintain here and if it is required any reference number is mandatory required and then we need to give the check mark here and the document header text as well so this is the process to create the uh, document type so now i will be going to the second point which is uh, number range how to create the number range for the document all the documents for ABN1 uh, we need to use the transaction code ABN1 to create a number range here so this is the number range object uh, RF underscore BLEG so here we need to mention the company code here so I will be I'm maintaining this is my company code now 
so we'll click on display interval and edit interval here and we can change the status with the help of this uh, this field so let me show you the intervals here so for this company code i have not defined any number ranges here okay let me copy the number ranges from my previous company code uh, to copy the uh, we have two options to copy the number ranges uh, one option is uh, from company to another company code and from one physical year to another physical year so for that we need to access the transaction code obh1 so here in this transaction code you can copy the number ranges from one company code to another company code so here i am giving my previous company code as 2004 and i am giving that the target company code is 2009 and 2010 so here in this step i am creating the number ranges for 2009 and 2010 but taking the reference of 2004 so just click on execute here so here system is asking uh, you have changed your setting do you really want to do this click on yes now here we can see company code 2009 the interval has been added like uh, 2003 2023 and 2024 intervals has been added to these two company codes go one step back one more step back and go to transaction code a b and one here then give the company code 2009 and click on display intervals so here you can see uh, system has copied uh, from my previous company code to target company code we have uh, created the number ranges and let me open and uh, edit change change mode so so this is a number range which will be maintained in the document type uh, document type so let me open another session and i will show you here BS seven. I'm going to essay on Python. So the number range zero one. So zero one is for essay. So again is to this here we are maintaining the number range. Let's suppose zero one. In twenty twenty three physical year, and twenty twenty four also we have maintained, and uh, we can also maintain till nine nine as well as per the best practice. Uh, every year we need to maintain the. Uh, number ranges so here i have chosen 1000 to 1999 so this nr status is zero when you have posted a document again is to uh, document type sa and number range zero one then the document status will be updated saying that uh, 1001 has been created and when you give a check mark here then at the time of document posting system will uh, look for the external means uh, if you give the check mark external means uh, you need to enter the document number manually if you uncheck this uh, check mark uh, then uh, system will automatically assign the number range from this range uh, generally this external number range will come into the picture when you are posting uh, a third party interfaces uh, from the third party interface we are posting the uh, documents at that time uh, we required this posting and then just click on save and go back here and with the help of nr status we can reset the document uh, status here we can reset it let's suppose uh, i have created five documents here so that mm, then system will update this uh, this thing system will update so we can reset this to zero with the help of nr status so now go back and let me check uh, for the 2010 as well whether we have created the yes we have uh, system has been already created the number ranges so this is the process uh, to create the document type and number ranges in sap that's all in this session thank you so much for watching my videos please do subscribe and share with your friends thank you so much